Hi, today I want to introduce to you my favorite word in my card deck. No, I shouldn't really say that because all the words in my card decks are my favorite words, otherwise I wouldn't have made them into card deck. Uh, but there's one word in particular that I really try to pay attention to because it really brings happier feelings um, no matter what happens and no matter what kinds of things come and hit our way. Uh, for an example, like the period that we are going through right now, it is something that we have never seen in our lifetime history anyway. And it is a huge thing that we are going through right now. And I know it's very easy to get on a really negative track with this. So anyway, this morning I pulled my favorite card out again to look at it and to think about it. And it is a card called Gratitude. And I know that we all try to have feeling of gratitude every day and we are always told that, but um, it is very hard to do that. And as I um, look back in my uh, life history, I look back at my journey and I try to think of what things that I've learned, the wisdoms I learned. And here's one way that I keep myself really focused on my journey. And I made this little, little ornament from a, a little ball that I painted and it's always hangs right above my computer so I could see this every day just twirling around in front of me. But it's just one way that I keep reminding myself about my journey and what I've learned and the wisdoms I learned and how grateful I feel for being able to come out of a lot of these unhappy situations that happened to me and also appreciate all the good times. I think I told you, um, of course I told you, uh, about John Williams, the person that I went to see when I was having a hard time. And I remember um, I belonged to this group therapy and it was so interesting for me to see how he conducted it because he would go around the room and asking people, so how did it go for you today? Or how was your week? And everybody came out with things that happened to them that they weren't happy about. And so they'll say, God, I'm just really had a bad day. And I hear a lot of people saying that too. It was a bad day. And John would always say, oh, it was a bad day. He said, um, did your house burn down today? And that person said, no. And he said, well, then it was a good day because you still have your house. And the way that he approached these people that came out with really negative feelings, he would just immediately cut it off and turn it into another direction of thinking more positively. And I remember that we had to work through these little worksheets where it was a picture of a brain or your, our head, and then it shows a pathway when something happens, then we take that something that happens and we put it into our brain pathway, and it is natural for the pathway to go towards thinking negatively rather than going into a positive area is because we've been brought up that way in life. And we've always hear other people talking about bad days and bad things that happen. So when, when something like that happens to us, we immediately have a tendency to take it and our brain just naturally pushes it towards thinking, gee, it was bad. So he showed us how to redirect our thoughts so that he always ends up in a positive point. And that was probably the most valuable thing I learned, uh, learning how to work on my thought process so that I would always come up thinking better than thinking worse. So I'm thinking that maybe by me sharing this to you today, um, it might um, make us all a little bit more aware of uh, how uh, we can really control our thoughts and feelings. And uh, one of the things that I remember after I went to those therapy sessions is that when, um, of course, at that time, 
uh, we were having a really hard time because my daughter was recovering from a traumatic head injury and things were pretty bad in our home. And I really learned to count my blessings. And so when a friend came up to me and said, oh, I'm having such a bad time with my daughter. I don't like her friends. And, and she would complain. And immediately my mind, would, my mind would go toward another pathway. And I would say to myself, gosh, I'm just really happy because both of my kids are in bed tonight. It's 10 o'clock and they're safe at home. And so I always learn to contradict these kind of negative feelings that way. And I think that that's what's kind of made me very strong in life and be able to go through a lot of things. So um, just something that I wanted to tell you. And I'm hoping that it would help, help you to be um, able to get to the point where you're appreciating everything and gratitude becomes a part of the way we think and live every day. And I know many people have told me that before you go to bed every night, write down three things that you're grateful for in your journal. And then when you look back, you'll see how many things that you have in your life that you should feel so grateful for.